Another awesome show coming your way on today's San Francisco 49ers report. But first, I need the faithful to show up and show out. I'm in a sub competition with a couple of the head honchos here at Chat Sports, Raiders Report, as well as the Dallas Cowboys Report. Both of those channels, well over 100,000 subscribers. We're closing in on 80,000. But you see some of the numbers this week. Raiders Report has picked up 121 new subscribers, 49ers Report at 104, and the Cowboys Report at 100. If you want shows and videos every single day on the Niners, lock us in and subscribe. And by doing that and hitting that sub button today, we might be able to get to that milestone of the Jerry Rice amount of subscribers of 80,000. We're 91 away. So subscribe, bang, bang, Niner gang. And with that, let's explore this Brandon IU trade buzz right now. Up to this point of the NFL offseason, it's been a busy one for San Francisco. Could it take a dramatic turn if San Francisco trades away Brandon Ayuk? A lot of teams continuing to call the Niners about his availability, and he tweeted something out very interesting the other day. We're going to dive into all of this, take a look at his numbers, what he might get paid on his next contract, and a whole lot more. But before we start today's show, can you please share this video? It's a very simple process where you can share the word of what we're doing here on the 49ers report. And I'm going to give you a shout out on Twitter if you follow these steps here on your screen. You click the share button, select the Twitter icon right here on YouTube, then all you have to do is click post to Twitter and you're able to tweet it out to all of your followers. But better yet, if you tag me at Chase underscore senior, I will respond. I will give you a retweet. Just make sure you tag me. Otherwise, I will not see it. To the Brandon IU trade buzz, a lot of teams across the NFL looking for a coveted number one wide receiver, and Brandon IU certainly fits that bill. Could the Niners look to trade him this offseason? for a first round pick because they don't currently have one after trading up for Trey Lance in the 2021 NFL Draft. There's that and also is Brandon Ayuk a little bit unhappy right now with his usage and situation in San Francisco and did this front office tell him and his reps that they weren't going to give him a long-term contract extension which then led to him tweeting this the other day. 1,000 yards basically is what he said as the fourth option in a run first offense crying emojis. I'm as real as it gets. We're the little baby in SG. I'm ready to stand on business every time. Year four rocket emojis, which means year four, those numbers going to continue to go up. His ascent is going to continue in the NFL. Brandon Ayuk with tweeting that out is not wrong at all. And San Francisco better not play around here and disrespect him with the deal. I understand that John Lynch, Adam Peters, and Parag, they try to be financially savvy. Oftentimes, they do take care of their own with some of these contract extensions. We've seen it with guys like George Kittle, Fred Warner, Trent Williams, soon Nick Bosa. But Brandon Ayuk is the Niners' number one wide receiver. It is not Debo Samuel. And Brandon Ayuk, in my opinion, one of the most slept-on wide receivers in the NFL and a guy who continues to emerge. Why I think he is elite and in that upper echelon class, he's a superb route runner. So many of the clips went viral from this past season of him putting a DB in a turnstile and just dusting him, crossing him up like an Allen Iverson crossover. The footwork on that route running it is elite. He has great yards after the catch ability. He plays a lot bigger than his size. He can go up and get it, but is also physical. He's a great run blocker too, which is very important in Kyle Shanahan's offense, and he can be utilized goal line to goal line. What I mean, he's not just a red zone target. He's not just a wide receiver who you can only use in between the 20s. You can line him up outside. You can line him up in the slot. You can use him as a gadget guy. You can give him the football on an end around, a reverse, a pop pass, whatever. Brandon Ayuk is that good, and he's a versatile weapon at that wide receiver spot. And that talent is very rare to find. So with that, Let's take a look at the Madden scale here. Want to hear from you down in the comment section. Sound off with what you think down below. If you were to grade Brandon Ayuk as a player 
on that Madden scale of 1 to 100. Where would you have him? I think he's knocking on the doorstep of getting close to 90. Let me know, and let's go, Brandon. Today's 49ers report is sponsored by Athletic Greens. I take AG1 every single day, and it really sets the foundation for the rest of my day. I just completed a 300-day running streak, and AG1 really helped power me through. Ever since they became a sponsor here at Chat Sports, I've been taking this every single day, and I gave it a try because given my work schedule at Chat Sports, combined with my training regimen, I wanted to stay healthy, wanted to keep my immune system strong, I also wanted sustained energy as well so that I can strive toward my professional work life and personal fitness goals. I've really started to prioritize my health over the last couple of years. I've lost 40 pounds since college. AG1, a big reason why. That's why I love it. And it's 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, and whole food source nutrients. All you have to do, mix one small scoop of AG1 with water, shake it up, drink it first thing each morning. I do it before and after my workouts as well. I also love something that is this good for you in prioritizing your health costs less than $3 per day, less than one gram of sugar too. So if a comprehensive solution is what you need from your supplement routine, Athletic Greens is giving you a free one-year supply of vitamin D, five free travel packs with your first purchase as well, and $20 off at athleticgreens.com slash chat sports. Check it out. We'll put that link in the comment section and in the description of this video. That link also on your screen right now. As for Brandon Ayuk's rise, Juco at first, then he goes to Arizona State, then he's selected by the Niners in the first round of the 2020 draft. And keep in mind that he put up in his rookie year 60 catches, 768 yards, and five touchdowns in an offseason in which there were no preseason games, limited practices, and limited training camp sessions because of the coronavirus. My good how far we've come since then. 2021, he's even better than he was as a rookie. He goes up to 56 catches, 826 yards, and once again, five touchdowns. That impressive because he started the year in Kyle Shanahan's doghouse. Then year three, best one of them, career high in catches with 78, career high in receiving yards with more than 1,000, as he pointed out and alluded to in that tweet, and a career high with eight touchdowns as well. And you look at his 2022 stats, yards after the catch, 370. All of these rankings, top five, top 10, top 20, top 25 among all wide receivers in the NFL. Missed tackles, force with 16, first downs, 47. Quarterback rating when targeted, 118, and a pro football focus receiving grade of 80.9. You've seen the trajectory of Brandon Ayuk. You've seen how he's improved. You've seen how important he is to this offense, emerging as the Niners' number one wide receiver. Who's to say that Brandon Ayuk isn't going to get even better? Who's to say that his ascent is not only going to continue, but he's going to become an all-pro pro bowler type of wide receiver and one of the best in the NFL. I think he's the most slept-on wideout in the National Football League. Clean route runner, beautiful footwork, picking up yards after the catch. You can use him goal line to goal line. He's not a limited wide receiver by any stretch of the imagination. You can line him up anywhere, and you can utilize him in a variety of ways. And if Brandon Ayuk was featured in a pass-heavy offense, he would be a 1,300, 1,400 receiving yards guy in a single season. And with that, and you look at his ascent, the big question now becomes, can San Francisco afford to pay him? He's eligible for a contract extension, base salary in 2023 of $2.3 million, the deadline to exercise his fifth-year option for yet another year of team control as he enters year four is on May 1st. And if you cannot afford Brandon Ayuk, do the Niners look at potentially trading him for a first-round pick where maybe San Francisco can get their hands on their future right tackle if, let's say, they make a trade with the New York Giants at 25th overall and a good offensive tackle is there? San Francisco has to be really careful about this because a player that you select at 25 probably isn't going to be better than Brandon Ayuk. And I look at him, work ethic, blocking in the ground game, buying into the system, not complaining that he's a secondary third option in a run-heavy offense. And look at him as a guy who can be a building block, a pillar for your organization. But once again, 
The money is tight for San Francisco. You look at their top 2023 cap hits, a lot of guys are getting paid, not just this year, but also in the years ahead. You have Trent Williams, Eric Armstead, Fred Warner, George Kittle, Nick Bosa, Charvarius Ward, Christian McCaffrey, Trey Lance, Debo Samuel, Kyle Juszczyk, all making a lot of money for the Niners in 2023. This list, by the way, put together prior to some of those contract restructures. For those of you who are in the camp, of wanting to trade Ayuk away. There have been a couple of wide receiver trades which give you an indication and a look as to what the Niners might be able to get if they were to deal him away. If they don't think that they can pay him, why not get really good value back at another position of maybe even greater importance like right tackle? Last offseason, draft night actually, Eagles received A.J. Brown from the Tennessee Titans. They traded away 19th overall and a 2022 third round pick. How about that monster splash that the Raiders made in trading for Devontae Adams. The Packers received a first round pick in 2022, which was 22nd overall, as well as a second round pick in last year's draft. My boy Marshall Green hosts the New York Giants now. He's been salivating over the thought of bringing in Brandon Ayuk. This is the trade that he put together. Ayuk heads to New York. He immediately becomes their number one most featured wide receiver, and San Francisco gets the 25th overall pick. You can use that draft spot at a player who can be under rookie team control for the next four or five years instead of for only the next two, like Brandon Ayuk. And that position, like let's say right tackle once again, maybe even Trent Williams' future replacement, is arguably a more important position than wide receiver. While I love Brandon Ayuk, I would not trade him. I think he's a really, really special player. You have to tread lightly when it comes to this particular conversation. There are so many great wide receivers coming out of the college ranks now because of the systematic changes with offenses that have happened at the college game. And a lot of guys have realized, Mom, Dad, I'm not paying playing running back because they don't get paid any longer. It's the wide receivers who get paid. So develop me into being a wide receiver and not a running back. There is a bevy of them who are very, very good players who you can find in the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh round, sometimes as UDFAs. So would you trade Ayuk for a first round pick. Let me know our final poll question on today's show. What says you? T for trade. K for K. Join the conversation down in the comment section as you venture down there. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching today's 49ers report.